Hello, my name is Steve Suri from SNS Digital Media Agency. And uh, I just want to show you a quick tip today on how to uh, put a PDF within your Evernote note application uh, and how easy it really is. Now, this took me a while to figure out a lot of trial and error. Uh, I love Evernote. You can do anything in that with recording notes, videos. Uh, and uh, anything you can think of, things to do, that's what I use it for as well. And uh, it's my own little, uh, my own little notebook that's uh, on my computer and it actually resides in the cloud so you can access it uh, no matter what, uh, what you're using, whether it's a desktop or uh, a phone or uh, a laptop. So given that, uh, what I'm going to do now is share my screen and show you how simple this is to do. Okay, should be coming up soon here. Okay, you should be seeing my screen right now. And uh, here's the PDF that I want to to move into my Evernote. I have my Evernote application open and these are all the notes I have in here. It's a whole list of different things. And uh, if you don't have Evernote, I really highly recommend that uh, uh, you check it out. Uh, and I'm not getting paid to say that, it's just that um, it is just fantastic for, for the capability it has and it's free. You can upgrade if you want, but uh, 90% uh, of what you need to do in here, you can do uh, for it with the free version. Okay, so you can see that I have put the uh, my PDF in here already. By the way, this is a, a 30 minute workday escape plan, uh, I call it. Uh, and it shows uh, how to do run your home business with three easy steps. And it's a step by step guide that's almost like a Bible on how to uh, do uh, run a home business or help someone else uh, run a home business or do advertising for them online. Anyway, that's a, that'll be a different video. So I'm coming back over here now and I'm clicking uh, left mouse clicking on the PDF. What I'm gonna do is go up here. I'm, as you can see, I'm in preview. I'm gonna hit file, left click on file, left click on print and it's gonna open it up like I'm going to print it out, but I'm not going to do anything on the print side here. What we need, what you wanna do is bring down this drop down window. And it, uh, I use this a lot of times to uh, save the, these files in a PDF somewhere on my computer or in the cloud or anything like that. But today, what I wanna show you is that I wanna put this to Evernote. Now, uh, if you don't have Evernote in your drop down here, you can easily put that uh, in here uh, by going to your applications on your computer. And uh, the, there's steps on how to, to add this to your print function. And I'm not gonna go into that in too much detail, but once again, that's really easy to do. So uh, there's Evernote and I just click on that. And now you can see that it's processing uh, all the pages on my PDF. Now this is a fairly large one, so it's taking a little bit, a uh, little bit of time, uh, but only takes a minute or two. And what it will do is, as you can see, it automatically puts it into my Evernote application, and it puts it into my my default one that I have, and it's. You have this, if you have Evernote too, you, you have a, a default that uh, um, everything, if you want to save anything from the web or anything like that, um, or files of any sort, videos into your Evernote, and uh, they, they will go into your default folder. So, uh, and I know that this is what this one is. Ray Hagman is another mentor of mine, but. Uh, this is my default folder. So you can see that this is loading up and it actually opens up over here as well. And uh, so you're going to have it open in two places, actually three. Uh, so now you can see that my, my PDF 
is in Evernote over here. So what you can do with that is, and this is just a little extra, um, uh, another extra tip for you. Uh, you. Once you get the PDFs, when they come in there, they usually default into one page and you can use these arrows to move forward if you like reading one page at a time like you would uh, a book turning the page like that you can do that or you know and or go back whatever you want to do for me i like uh i like it all all the pages open at once and to do that i hit my left mouse click and i click up here and i hit my little uh, uh three dots asking for more options and you can see right now it's defaulted into a single page and i hit all pages and wait a, a little bit for it to open up in all pages and it does the same thing over on the left here as well so now you can see as it's loading up um, it will instead of going uh to the right to get to each page, I can just go down. See, here's my second page, third page. And I can just go all the way down and read this in a vertical format like this. Uh, once it all gets loaded loaded in, you can see it's gonna take a little bit to get loaded in. Uh, it, but that doesn't take more than 30 seconds. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to uh, stop sharing and uh, oh, by the way, uh, one other tip is that in Evernote, if you decide to go there, you can move this, uh, since it's going into my, my default, I can move this to whatever file or, uh, that I have over here, uh, wherever I want it or create a new one. So uh, that's pretty easy to do as well. Um, I click left mouse click on, on more here, it gives you a lot of things you can do with uh, the uh, note itself uh, once again another video and up here is where you can even do more actions and you can see all of this here like if i wanted to move it to a different um, file over here on the left that's what i would do and it would automatically move it over there and it would take it out of my default um, note okay all right, with that, that was a little longer than I anticipated, uh, but uh, I wanted to show you a couple extra tips too, in, in addition to just moving something from uh, P, the, the a PDF over into Evernote. Uh, so with that, I'm going to stop uh, sharing, and uh, we should uh, uh, hold on one second. There we go. Stop sharing and you're back with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, lucky you, I guess. Um, uh, this reminded me just to close this out here. Uh, I like doing videos and it's I, I feel like I'm talking to someone, talking to you all out there, whether it's one person or, or a bunch. And uh, for me, I, I like to talk and uh, but it's funny, a good friend of mine says, Steve, you, you would do well on videos. Uh, but the only problem you have is you got a face for radio. So <laughs> uh, take that for what it's worth. And uh, with that, I'm going to end this, uh, this little video. And just rem always remember that uh, Vets Helping Vets Online uh, is not a slogan. And I'm passionate about doing that. And I'm also passionate about helping others. Uh, make money online as well. So with that, I'll stop the recording and uh, we'll see you on the next one.